What's up all you shamans playing Season of Discovery right now? How are you guys doing? You guys enjoying farming those Cobron legs? If you're a tank, there's a way to solo it. And the best part is, you don't really have to have that particularly good of gear. A lot of this stuff is very easy to get. My character in particular hasn't even done Black Fathom Deeps a single time. There's really nothing you need aside from the Black Fathom Boom buff. That makes this very easy. What you're going to do is you're going to run and your two main abilities that you're going to be casting are Frost Shock, which you want to use sparingly because it's a lot of mana. And then you're going to be using the Slowing Totem a lot at a couple times where the mobs will be grouped up and you'll slow them to try and get ahead. You will be Frost Shocking some of these Crocolis sometimes. I typically don't do this first one, but the reason I want to show you this run in particular, not because everything went well, actually it's because everything went wrong. And I'm showing you this one for two reasons. Because I want to show you guys that it's easy to still do this even if you make a lot of mistakes. Hopefully give you guys a little more confidence in doing it yourself. And then also to show you that the gear you need to do this isn't really that like high. Like I do have a lot of SFK gear. I do have most of the other stuff from WC. It was mostly just the legs I needed. See, I put a slowing totem right there and I keep it moving, keep it moving, keep running. Then we're gonna ignore this elf here, this druid. Just ignore it, let it cast. Try and line aside it right here while you frost shock that snake. Run across. Yes, but here I make a lot of mistakes. I get dazed twice, I believe. I, I think I get dazed here because I turn my back to the mobs. Big mistake. Check out my previous video, Karns the Classified Hardcore Survival Guide to see why this is a mistake. The health's getting low. In this run, you're going to want to bring a lot of health potions because if you get dazed a single time on this way over, it's pretty much guaranteed you're going to be, need to pop a health potion. But you're still okay. There's no need to panic. Even right now, I'm surrounded by mobs. 34%, 20% HP, 17%. I was fine. Pop a health potion, slow them. Uh, that's where I drop a slowing totem. Then you're going to run to the back right here in this corner. Jump, 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 jump. Spam the space bar. And then from here, it's pretty much a survival game. Keep your water shield up and then constantly spam little light heals. Try and conserve your mana a little bit in case you get a couple blasts. Sometimes you'll see other druids in the back casting lightning bolt like you can see in this particular pool. It did happen. Then they reset. There is a patrolling druid mob that comes into this boss's path that you may pull sometimes mid fight. And sometimes you're just going to have to deal with it. Sometimes it doesn't happen at all. Sometimes the mob never patrols around and you can kill the boss fast enough to not worry about it. But in this particular run, he does come around. And then um, my totem pulls the boss. Bad move. I put it too close to him. So I decided to go in there and just, you know, just give it a try. So here I'm already making a ton of mistakes. I've been dazed a couple times. I've already used the health potion. Now I'm just trying to hop into the fight and we have the patroller coming in with the healing touch. Got to interrupt that now. So now with my earth shock, I have to worry about interrupting both of their healing spells, which I do believe it doesn't line up very well. Now, the thing about this fight is most of the time you can run back up that corner in order to reset if you really need to. It won't be very consistent, though, which is the problem, which you'll see here. I don't get a chance to reset at all throughout this entire fight. Although I do run up there and try to, it just doesn't work. So I'm there, my health's getting low, I'm healing. I run up here and now it's pretty much a battle of attrition. My mana versus their mana. And boy, do these guys regen mana quickly. You can see it jumps up to like 50% mana. Yeah. Now here's the, here's the part I wanna show you that I wanna stress this. My gear is not all that great. It's really not. I'm not even pre-raid best in slot. I have no necklace. I have no helmet. I'll show you at the end of this run because I do pull up my character page. But and I'm, I'm sitting literally sitting here getting lightning bolts spammed at me this whole time. And I come out on top still at the end of this fight. And I'm here for a couple of minutes, I believe. I believe I was there for well, a while. They start coming in closer. I realize I'm not going to get a reset from there. I decide to just jump in. It's like, OK, well, we're going to have to kill these guys. So whatever, let's get in there. One of them's a snake now, so they can't cast their heal. That's a good thing. Let's try and focus that one down first. And then we can just use our Earth Shock to interrupt Cobron's heal. But he changed his back. Yeah, so as you can see, everything's going wrong in this pool. 
there's sometimes like I accidentally even heal my totem instead of me. I promise you it's really not that difficult, although it does seem intimidating while you're doing the initial run to the boss and maybe the first time you're fighting him and you see your health getting low, you might panic a little bit. The most I can say is just try not to. This guy might run and pull the others, which is a nightmare scenario. So if he starts to run, set down a slow totem, which you can see I did, it just didn't hit him, it hit the boss instead. Try and slow him however you can. I could have used the frost shock, probably should have. And then after that, it's now it's just me and the boss, mano y mano. And he's really not that scary. Honestly, just interrupt the lightning bolt, interrupt the heal and burn him down. Whenever he turns into a snake, I recommend putting down the stone wall totem that reduces damage taken because he's going to stop his spell casting at that point and it's pretty much all melee attacks and poison. So drop that down, maybe even a poison cleansing totem, although I don't think he casts it that often. I think it's just the one cast. So you might be better off just cat like cleansing yourself the one time and keeping it going. Make sure you keep your water shield stacks up. I'd say when you get down to one left, one charge left, just go ahead and recast it. Keep your flame shocks up, max rank flame shock, don't mess around with rank one. Blast him down and then also hit him with max rank earth shocks without him getting a heal off. That's really the only thing you'd have to worry about. But once he turns into a snake, he doesn't heal, so just blast him down. Throw a heal in whenever you need to feel comfortable. Once it's just you and the boss, you, you really shouldn't have any need to run back up and try and reset the fight. You should be good. Yes, this was such a scuffed run. As you can see, my gear is not like crazy good. Earth and shoulders, glowing lizard scale, boar guard tunic.